And first tonight, we start with a family's plea for help after a 15-year-old boy was shot while at a bus stop in Denver and later died. Denver 7's Colette Bordelon joins us live, and you spoke with his aunt. She says somebody has to know something here. That's their plea for this. They want those answers. The family of Edward Armijo Preciado says they're devastated after almost a week without any of those answers. I talked with his great aunt who says he lived with her for over a year. She's sharing his story tonight, hoping it serves as a wake up call for the entire community. As the day winds down in Denver. Right now we're heading home, um, just had a long day. The traffic passing by the corner of 31st and Downing might miss the lives that were changed on the sidewalk. It's sad that people can't even get on the bus anymore. It happened on Wednesday of last week, just after 9 p.m. <laughs> Sorry, I meant to be strong. Deb Sena is Edward Armijo Preciado's great aunt. He was 15 years old, getting ready to be 16. He always had a smile on his face. Almost a week later, sitting with her family at the intersection after the sun set. Oh, we were in the dark. What happened to him? You know, he just took his his girlfriend to the movies. That's what we knew. She told us what she knows about a day that feels like it won't end. He had been shot. The totus fell away from his feet to his head eight times. Sena says he was with his teenage girlfriend and her sister when they were shot at by another pedestrian. Look at all the cars passing by. All these cars, they wouldn't stop. Preciado was taken to the hospital where the family held out hope. On Saturday afternoon, we were told that he was brain dead. There was so much prayer going on that we hoped there'd be a miracle. Well, there was a miracle. He went home. Still, no arrests have been made. There's got to be footage. I mean, I took pictures of over 30 cameras that are here. A family determined to find out who took away their teenager. Please, my hito is not going to die in vain. He isn't. I want to make sure that this doesn't happen to no one else, his kids. Because as a day comes to an end in Denver, it only means another night without answers. Denver police are asking anyone who has information about what happened at 31st and Downing last Wednesday, October 5th, around 9 p.m. to call Metro Denver Crime Stoppers at 720-913-STOP. Callers can remain anonymous and could earn up to a $2,000 reward. Live in the studio, Colette Bordelon, Denver 7. Thank you, Colette. Very sad.